Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jennifer and I like to review all things cosmetics, skincare, beauty, and style. Today I want to talk to, some, to you about something a little bit different. Um, you must be living under a rock in this world if you haven't heard about the novel COVID-19. Unfortunately, so many of us have been affected by this. Either we have had the horrible virus or we know someone who has and may have passed away. I did have COVID-19 back in December of 2020. My case was mild, thank heavens. But I wanted to share with you what my doctor had shared with me. As a disclaimer, this video is not meant to offer any type of medical advice. Please check with your doctor. Do not take what I'm saying as I'm a medical professional. I am not. I am a beauty influencer and that is what I do. But please check with your doctor. But this is what my family physician did tell myself and my family to do to help lessen the duration of COVID and to continue on this regimen of vitamins going forward so that nobody else in the family would have to suffer or could possibly lessen the duration. I mean, you have to remember it's also, this time of year is also cold and flu season and these, this vitamin protocol could actually work for a cold or a flu, but I think in the forefront of everyone's minds right now is COVID-19. So what my family doctor had told me when I called was to take these following vitamins, a multivitamin, a vitamin D, a vitamin C, zinc, and a vitamin B. So I got a Centrum vitamin, which is appropriate for myself, for my age. You'll need to do the same if you would choose to start on this vitamin protocol. Um, this is for women and men over 50. They do have them, you can get them where there's the ones for women over 50 and then the ones for men over 50. But my husband and I both take these, so we just got the Centrum unisex multivitamin. Normally, if we weren't living in a COVID situation, I think that this vitamin would probably cover all the bases for what you need as a healthy adult. But in the world we're living in, it's probably best to cover all bases. The vitamin D, we also got. I live in the northeast part of the country where we have very little sunlight through the months of September all the way out until May. So it's very difficult if you live where I do to get the appropriate amounts of vitamin D into your life because we, we live in, I'd like to say darkness, that's what it feels like sometimes, but it's generally partly cloudy almost every day when you live here. And if there is a little bit of sunshine, it's far too cold to go outside and get any of the vitamin D that your body needs to process anything substantial. So the supplementation is in order for us. If you live in another part of the country, like I mentioned, check with your doctor, but this can also help ward off an oncoming cold flu or help lessen the duration of it. Vitamin C, I have chewables, and then I have the carnage as well. I can't stand the chewables. Um, a lot of people don't mind them. They think they actually taste pretty good. I despise them, so I take the kind that I just swallow with the rest of my vitamins. As a warning about vitamin C, be careful not to take more than the recommended amount of vitamin C because it can have deleterious effects on your system. And by that, I mean specifically diarrhea. That's what it does. Too much vitamin C will give you diarrhea and if it doesn't, if the excess doesn't spill over into your urine, you could absolutely have some serious stomach upset. There's been a lot of stories that I've, I've actually read about where people took copious amounts of vitamin C to help stay well or get rid of their cold, and they ended up very sick. <laughs> so don't do that with your vitamin C. Make sure that you don't overdo with that. Just take the appropriate and recommended amounts. Zinc. Zinc is a, is a funny. Thing to take. It can make you feel a little bit warm all over when it first is starting to get digest. It's not harmful. Um, of course, if you were burning, your skin was burning up, you would definitely not want to keep taking it. But it can make some people flush a little bit and feel a little bit warm all over. Um, you surely had zinc in your life sometime with a cough suppressant that you've taken or a cold medicine. It's definitely associated with shortening the duration of a cold. People take, say, hurry up and take some zinc. You know, it'll, it'll help get rid of that cold. You might not get really down and out with it. Um, but this is also recommended as part of the COVID protocol. And uh, like I said, you've probably had this before in your vitamins. Another thing about vitamin C that, as an aside, if it isn't even about help warn off cold or, or COVID, it's really good for your skin. It helps with skin elasticity. So it does kind of coincide with the subject of my channel. So you want to do that with your vitamin C. As an aside, I throw in the biotin. You cannot go wrong with biotin. I take the 5,000 micrograms. If I can find the 10,000, I do take that. They now have a dissolvable biotin that you can take or it just dissolves on your tongue. I don't like that. 
I just like to take it in pill form and throw it down the hatch with the rest of my vitamins. It's wonderful for helping your hair and your nails grow. There's, um, it can be good for your skin. I love taking biotin and I won't be without because it really does help harden up your nails. You will see a difference in a matter of weeks when you take biotin. It has nothing to do with warding off COVID-19 or a cold or a flu, but hey, you definitely want your nails to grow if you're down and out with the cold for sure. As a warning with a biotin, if you do have a thyroid condition and you're getting ready to have blood work, this can interact with your blood work for your thyroid. So you wanna discontinue this at least two weeks before you would happen to have a thyroid TSH test run for low thyroid. So make sure that you do that. That's my bucket of vitamins. I keep it in the cabinet once a week. On Sundays, my husband and I will set up with our vitamin organizer and we get them all. It's best to plan ahead. We, we set them up for the entire week. That way we don't have to, you know, every day open up all of these bottles. Um, they're there. We take we make sure we take them with food. You don't want any kind of stomach upset. We take them once a day. And um, like I said, we had very mild cases of COVID, thankfully. Um, um, I feel for persons who have not been so fortunate. But I don't know if this helped less in our case of COVID, but I def we have definitely stayed on this vitamin protocol, and, and we plan to until... The world changes, I guess, is all I can say about that. Uh, again, my heart goes out to anyone that you know or may, you know, if COVID has affected your life, I, you do have my sympathies. Stay strong. Um, maybe you're at home with COVID right now watching my video. If you are, here's a big virtual hug to you. Try and get the vitamin protocol. If you've got Instacart in your area, maybe they could deliver it to you. It may do you some good. Thanks for watching my channel. If you found value, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, and that way you'll know every time I upload a, vid a video. Oh, sometimes words are hard. You'll know every time that I, <laughs> I upload a video. Thanks.